Mommies, it's Lai once again of How to Mommy and today we are talking about my baby's bath essentials. So I just want to share with you the products that I use for my baby whenever he's taking a bath. He takes a bath every morning and every night so that's twice a day because it's super hot where we live. So he's a baby and he's very sensitive to my skin. So he has to take a bath talaga or else he's going to get hot wherever, whenever he's going to get hot which is usually on his neck. He's always going to get hot. So I make sure that he really takes a bath at night before he's asleep. Because um, uh, I don't really, I'm not very much into sponge baths. And every morning, we really give him a bath before we get So basically, I'm just gonna go straight to the point. My baby is a Cetaphil baby, but this video is not sponsored. But um, gusto ko lang talaga siyang share because it is very, very much highly recommended by my baby's pedia. Tapos alam ko may bagong uso ngayon. There is a new product launched by a very famous brand. Kaso lang, hindi ko pa siya na-try. Hindi ko pa din siya nagamit at all ever. So, I'm just gonna talk about Cetaphil for this video. If ever I will be able to discover a better bath essential or bath product for my baby, then I will also share it with you. But for now, yun na nga. Let's start. First, I use a bathtub. Uh, it's not with me right now kasi uh, it's so huge na sa bathroom. But, dati, when he was super small pa, we don't use a bathtub. I just kinakarga siya ng husband ko then I wash him under the sink. Basta yung sa kitchen, dun, dun namin siya pinapaliguan dati. Because he was so small, tapos feeling ko, kasi yung bathtub na gusto ko, yung naka-incline siya, nakahiga siya, tapos may stopper kung saan pwede siyang umupo. So that's the kind of bathtub that I like. Pero, when he was a few weeks old pa, feeling ko, he's just gonna slide. So, hindi muna namin yung ginamit when he was um, super duper baby pa. He, we just hold him. I'll show you a video if mahanap yung video. Tapos, ako yung, yung husband ko yung um, nag-hold sa kanya under the sink. Tapos, I just uh, wash him. So, dalawa kami at that time na kailangan... Um, kailangan nandun every time maliligo siya. We cannot do it alone na mag-isa lang. I don't know how the moms did it before. Na yung, you know, yung walang bathtub, yung mga stay-at-home moms when their husband has to go to work. I don't know how they, they did it. Uh, kudos to them. But yun na nga. So, when my baby was a little older, probably when he was two months at a, hindi ko masyadong ma-remember. But, um, just look for cues. If your baby is feeling nyo marunong na siyang mag-hold medyo nasa support na niya yung self niya, lying down inclined, yung hindi na siya nagsaslide, uh, then you can use the bathtub. For me, I use this. Super helpful talaga. Ever since we bought the bathtub, pwede nang uh, paliguan si baby nang mag-isa. Like, ako lang mag-isa. Kaya ko. Because I just leave him there. Tapos hindi kasi siya yung type na malikot, yung gustong mag-roll over, or gustong bumangon, or, or, or umupo. Hanggang ngayon na, he is already 15 months old. So, the bathtub is really, really useful. And if gusto mong my water yung tub pwede because you can uh, there is a uh, parang stopper yung parang hindi siya nagde-drain tapos if gusto mo namang every time you put water it just drains pwede din because you just open the parang stopper yung rubber na drain sa ano sa bottom part so the bathtub is really, really useful nabili ko sa department store um i think meron sa baby company basta yung sa akin nabili ko sa uh, SM department store which is like baby company din diba Next is I need uh, shampoo. Um, at first, hindi kami nisha shampoo because the baby is really sensitive, de ba and all. Pero when he got a little older, probably when he was three months old, yung ginagamit kasi namin na sabon is walang scent. So we wanted him to be parang medyo bango. And although some moms don't prefer yung mga may scent, ako okay lang naman because we tried this. Cetaphil baby shampoo with natural chamomile. Tapos it was okay. Walang nagyari kay baby and his. Um, hair was just smooth, soft, and mabango. So, this was okay. I highly recommend this. You will think it is pricey, pero sobrang tagal niyang maubos. Kasi, you just put like parang 25 cents. Ganun, ganun lang kaliit sa palm niya. Tapos, you rub it konti para magbig siya ng bubbles. Then, it goes a long way. A little goes a long way. So, super sulit. Pag bili ko nito, parang umabot siya ng around... 11 months because we only use it in the morning and at night we don't shampoo the baby. So, this is a good product. And then, yung sabon niya talaga sa body is Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. This is very popular, di ba, among babies. 
Uh, this is not for babies talaga exclusively. It's actually for adults, di ba? Pero it is mild, non-irritating, and it softens. As it cleans, it is for the babe, uh, for the face and for the body, uh, for dry and sensitive skin. Even if your baby doesn't have dry or sensitive skin, this is highly recommended talaga by pediatricians because it's so gentle and it's moisturizing. So ito yung gamit namin from, I think, 0 to... 10 months. Nakadry din kami ng ibang products pero once na ubos, balik talaga agad kami dito because this is the ano, recommended talaga ng pediatrician ng baby ko. Pero as you can see um, in the video, iba yung kind of setup yung nagamit namin because my baby has eczema. Ever since he was born, yun talaga yung problem niya and there are different triggers. I will talk about it in a different video but I'll show you some clips of how his eczema looked like when he was younger. Ngayon, it's all better but sometimes my triggers talaga like allergens or sweat or the type of food I eat or he eats. So, hindi naman masyadong ma fully heal, but it's super duper better na than before. Pero anyway, um, one of the visits uh, namin sa pedia niya this year, sabi niya, gusto niya talaga, the pedia said, gusto niya talaga completely mawala yung eczema ni baby. So, we switched from this Cetaphil to Cetaphil Pro. This is Cetaphil Pro and it really helped the eczema of my baby. Nawala na yung sa cheeks niya, yung sa dito, yung sa uh, kilikili, nawala na talaga. Hindi talaga mabalik. Yung, yung existing pan eczema is yung sa feet na lang, tsaka yung sa neck. Pero super konti na lang depending on the triggers for that day. So, I think Cetaphil Pro really helped me a lot. It is, uh, it used to be Cetaphil Restore Derm if I'm not mistaken. This is a new name or packaging. And it is for very dry, itchy skin. So, it it's um, actually better. Mas gusto ko siya kasi dun sa gentle skin cleanser. But of course, this is more expensive. Pero if walang eczema yung baby nyo, you're very lucky. And just stick to the basic Cetaphil. It's gonna be okay. After giving him a bath, I always moisturize kasi I'm, uh, I have very dry skin. And unfortunately, na inherit ng baby ko. He also has very, very dry skin. Kaya siya may eczema, nangakate siya lagi. Uh, aside from his allergies, he really, really has dry skin. So I have to moisturize him with Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. I know there is Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion, pero uh, this is creamier, mas thick siya, mas maganda yung ano niya. Um, yung pag moisturize niya sa skin so I put especially sa feet niya tsaka sa legs yung sa likod ng tuhod it always sweats there and it becomes itchy and you think if nagsusweat yung baby dyan you're not supposed to moisturize it you're supposed to moisturize the whole body of the baby even the face but it's up to you but yung para sa akin I will have to moisturize talaga the whole body of my baby and I use Cetaphil moisturizing cream other bath essentials ni baby um, because wala kami dry changing table we just dry him sa bed we need to put something para hindi mabasa yung bed namin so we use this it's a rubber mat um, you can also find this in the baby company or sa SM department store. It's very useful as in ever since he was born, meron kami ganito, it was smaller, tapos lumaki na siya, so we bought a new one. And we were traveling, tapos we didn't have this, so diretso na siya sa towel and then sa bed. Uh, nabasa talaga yung bed. So, um, hindi kasi kami sanay na i-dry siya na nakatayo. Kasi ayoko yung parang malikot, yung galaw ng galaw si baby habang nakatayo, habang I'm trying to dry him. So, I always uh, make him lie down and then I dry him and then I put diaper and moisturize and I... Uh, what do you call this? I put on his clothes. So it, this is really useful. Tapos his towel. His towel is this hooded towel from Soen. Ayan, ganyan siya. This is getting small for him. Maghanap ako ng bigger towel. Pero so far kasi parang yung nakita ko is isang size lang tong ganito yung mga towel na hooded. And I really like the hood kasi ginaganon ko lang sa head niya. Tapos after konting rub rub lang, it's already dry kasi na-absorb niya yung wetness ng hair. And then diretso na kami brush ng hair. So that's it for my baby's bath essentials. I'm looking forward to trying out other products out there. But for now, this is what I recommend. All Cetaphil. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video of me giving my baby a bath. Sana may natutunan kayo. And if you're really, really scared of giving your baby a bath, just try to ask for our help. But being a first-time mom, kahit uh, wala akong experience before, nagamit ko talaga yung bathtub, yung rubber mat, yung gantong tasing towel, yung mga... All of those things that I am already able to give my baby a bath na mag-isa. Kahit ako na mag-isa sa bahay, kaya ko. So, don't be afraid to try and just be the best version of yourself. Just be the best mom that you can be. And you can always, always do it. You can always learn 
new things. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope to see you again soon. I hope you can subscribe to this channel, like this video, and follow me on my other social media accounts. Thank you!